Email continues to be a popular target for hackers and cybercriminals, so it's more important than ever to ensure that your email communications are secure and cannot be intercepted by bad actors. The two primary ways to send a secure email are by encrypting the connection that is used to deliver the email or by encrypting the email message itself. Encrypting the connection is the simplest method and is accomplished using Secure Sockets Layer or SSL and a Transport Layer Security or TLS. Encrypting the message itself can be accomplished using OpenPGP. Using both methods together can help ensure that email communications are secure and out of the reach of hackers. When sending an email message, it is first transmitted to the sender's mail server, which then delivers it to the recipient's mail server. Unsecure connections between the sending client and mail server are subject to tampering and eavesdropping. Connections between clients and servers, as well as connections between sending and receiving mail servers, can be protected against interception using SSL and TLS. Setting up SSL and TLS between sending mail clients and the mDaemon server is accomplished by enabling SSL and TLS when the mDaemon server creating or importing an SSL certificate, ensuring the proper ports for SSL and TLS communications are being used, and configuring the mail client to send outgoing mail using SSL and TLS via the proper port. In MDaemon Remote Administration, these settings are located under the Security, SSL, and TLS menu. Check the first two boxes to enable the SSL and TLS features, and to enable the proper SSL and TLS ports. And then create or import an SSL certificate. You can create an SSL certificate using the options on the bottom portion of this screen. If you'd like to import a third-party SSL certificate, you'll find step-by-step -step instructions in our knowledge base. Check this box to instruct mDaemon to send all outbound mail to receiving mail servers over an encrypted connection whenever possible. Once SSL has been enabled in mDaemon, end users can then configure their mail client to send outbound mail over these secure ports. One caveat of SSL is that it can be opportunistic, meaning if an SSL connection cannot be established, then the message is delivered without SSL. You can get around this and require email to be transmitted over an encrypted connection using Require TLS and MTA STS, or Strict Transport Security, which you'll find under the SMTP Extensions menu. Require TLS allows you to flag messages that must be sent using TLS. If TLS is not possible, or if the parameters of the TLS certificate exchange are unacceptable, messages will be bounced back rather than delivered insecurely. In order for a message to be sent using required TLS, one of two criteria must be met. The message must be specifically flagged by a content filter rule, or it must be sent to an address with plus required TLS appended to the recipient's address. For example, john.smith plus required TLS at example.com. There are some additional requirements to use required TLS. Required TLS must be enabled. DNS lookups must use DNS SEC, which is a DNS feature that authenticates responses to domain name lookups. Connections must use SSL or Start TLS. The SSL certificate of the receiving host must match the MX host name and chain to a trusted certificate authority. And the receiving mail server must support required TLS. In addition, Require TLS requires DNS SEC lookups of MX record hosts, or the MX must be validated by MTA STS or Strict Transport Security, which we'll talk about next. For more detailed instructions on how to configure Require TLS, click on the Help button at the top of the Remote Administration window. Another way to send secure messages is by using MTA Strict Transport Security or MTA STS. MTASTS allows mail service providers to declare their ability to receive transport layer security or TLS encrypted SMTP connections and to specify whether sending SMTP servers should refuse to deliver to MX hosts or other mail servers that do not offer TLS with a trusted server certificate. For more information and setup instructions, see the mDaemon help file. Here, you'll find complete details on configuring MTASTS and its associated DNS records. While SSL, TLS, and their associated SMTP extensions are used to encrypt the connection, OpenPGP is used to encrypt the actual email message itself. This provides an extra layer of security in case SSL and TLS are not guaranteed. Here's how OpenPGP works. When an mDaemon user sends an email, the message is encrypted using the recipient's public key. The encryption process converts the message from plain text to cipher text and then sends it to the receiving mail server where it is decrypted using the recipient's private key and then delivered to the recipient's mailbox. 
Here's how to set up PGP encryption in mDaemon. First, launch the mDaemon console, also known as a configuration session, via the start menu. Next, click on the security menu and open the mdpgp configuration screen. Check the box to enable mdpgp. Make sure the following two boxes are checked to enable the encryption and decryption services. Click on this button to configure who can use the encryption services and use the information shown here as a guide on how to add each entry. For example, you can allow specific users to encrypt and decrypt, or use these two lines to allow all users to encrypt and decrypt. Simply add these two lines to the bottom of the file and save your changes. Next, create a pair of keys for each user who is authorized to use the encryption services. Click on this button to create encryption key pairs for each authorized user. You can optionally check this box to email a copy of the public key to the user. The user then sends that public key to anyone who needs to send him or her encrypted email. The two most common ways to encrypt email via PGP in mDaemon are via a content filter rule or via mDaemon webmail. When configuring the content filter, administrators can simply specify what conditions to look for, such as keywords in the message subject or body, and then, under the Actions section, select the option to encrypt the message with the recipient's public key and specify the public key via the link at the top. To encrypt messages from within mDaemon webmail, click on this button in the Message Compose window and then select your preferred encryption option. When used together, encrypting the communication channel via SSL and TLS and encrypting the email itself using OpenPGP is the best way to protect email privacy and prevent unauthorized interception from hackers.